conditions behind. While watching these pictures, some of you might think, well, another advertisement, but how can one fake smile, friendly glances, and sincere laughter? There are no minor things inside a family where everybody treats each other with respect. The dwellers of five hostels of the university are trying to create home spirit. All these years, while reconstructing the studying buildings of the university, that they have never forgotten about students and their hostels. A wonderful present of the university administration in 2004 had become an opening and equipping of the first aid medical center where one can examine his or her health and prevent disease. And this became another eloquent example of the special atmosphere of kindness and care about students that exists in the university. Physical training complex of the pharmaceutical university occupies almost 3,000 square meters by students being cheerful and active, often transform it into a concert hall. Here, they conduct humor competitions. Cultural measures are also take place here, where both performers and audience become one ensemble. There are no indifferent, not wanted, or incidental ones, and still they never forget its basic purpose. There are 17 kinds of sport, such as basketball, football, fitness and shaping, handball team, that many years has become a winner of different championships, has a professional name, Panacea. National Pharmaceutical University is highly cultured, possesses love to its country's history and patriotism. Science and spirituality are naturally united in it. The opening of Culture and Life Museum has become for students not only an event, but also a logical ending of teachers' desire to breed specialists that would cure both body and soul. For five years, they collected objects of Ukrainian life and antiquity from all over the country. The past has entered their life to become their spiritual support. The oath taken by students of the university is not only solemn ritual. For already three years at the Department of the Catastrophe Medicine and Military Medicine, they are taught to act in the extraordinary situations. Students are taking oath of loyalty to Ukraine. This is a special responsibility and an adult approach to life. In the profession they have chosen, there are no day off, even in times of war. When the institute was evacuated to Semipalatinsk, students helped teachers to prepare medicines necessary for the battlefront hospitals. One can remember here students and professors who left and didn't get back, but those who stayed alive had become for students a vivid example of devotion to life. Our country paid attention only to technical specialties and paid really few attention to pharmacy. We started to work with the government, with Verkhovna Rada, that we must pay attention to it. And we see the results. For today, we have 3,000 new students every year instead of 300 that we had in the previous time. Practice in translation from Greek means activity. Practical training, according to the dictionary, is systematically organized work of students according to curriculum with the aim of obtaining certain speciality. This is on paper. 
But in real life, we always gratefully remember those whom we met on the first day of practical training. Graduates of the Institute have been working for a long time as pharmacy managers or pharmacists, have been managing industrial process, but they are all united by a special feature, which is named profession, collective nature, and now known as cooperative interest. And none of modern definitions can cross out what is programmed in the genetic code of all pharmacies, the high professionalism, the desire to serve people, and to protect health and life. Demands for a chemist described by Philip Fabus in 1875. Before the chemist can become independent, he has to show at the exam decent level of knowledge and ability. He must not only prove his knowledge on tests, but also the way he acquired that knowledge by means of certificates of practice in pharmacies and being a lecturer listener. The pharmacist of the 19th century, the nowadays pharmacist and the future pharmacist, all of them should join their efforts in searching the panacea. They should try their best to help people in need or just consult them. That I consider to be their similarity. From the very beginning, from my childhood, I wanted to become a pharmacist. I used to study in my country and I tried to enter a pharmaceutical faculty in Lebanon. I failed, but pharmacy for me is a kind of a dream. To be honest, I gave up my first diploma on biochemistry. I left my native country, left my family, left my parents, and I came here in order to make my dream to become a pharmacist come true. We are united with the pharmacists of the Middle Ages and the next generations of pharmacists and chemists by our professionalism and the humanism of our profession. We bring health to people and if a person is incurable, at least we can encourage him or her when they come to our pharmacy for advice. Panacea, pharmacy, pharmacopoeia, pharmacognosia are notions born in Greece. For uninitiated it sounds like a set of notes, for professionals like music. Alchemists of the past truly believed in possibility of transformation of base metals into gold and silver with the help of the philosopher's stone. This mystery has been long ago revealed in the university, that is studying science and practice. The discovery seems very simple. The perfect system has started working for people. Because everything what they do is for people that makes them the real knights, the knights of pharmacy. The only thing I want is to make together with my team something worth being proud of. And it seems to me that today we succeeded in it. It is such a wonderful team that we can create miracles.